Hello, Wrangler 4xE fans, and welcome to another edition of Under the Hood. I'm under the hood of my 21 Wrangler 4xE, talking about all the different things that you'll find in here. And one of the things that, uh, I don't know, maybe should be a point of interest on the Wrangler 4xE is what is called the P1 motor generator, which is right down in here. If you can, it's kind of hard to get my flashlight to shine without being too bright. But right down in here is what is called the P1 motor generator. That, I don't know if you can see that little Mopar tag, but that is the that is where the part number is. And um, that little guy is what, it does, it does a number of jobs. It is, um, it provides additional torque to the front of the engine. It's kind of hard to see, but the serpentine belt actually comes in, up in here and goes around a spindle that is uh, kind of down in here. Oh gosh, it's just so hard to get a good view of it. But um, anyway, the uh, there's one of the coolant lines that runs for that. And if you look back in here, that orange piece, it's so hard for the camera to focus on what I need it to focus on. But that is where the three-phase AC comes and goes from this motor. It is a motor generator. It's not just a motor. And uh, what that does is it provides additional torque to the front of the engine. If one thing uh, you have kind of you may have noticed on your Wrangler 4xE, there's not as much turbo lag as you might have in other vehicles because this motor and the motor back in the transmission kind of crank up and get things going until that turbo can get up and going. Now you can you can definitely feel when that turbo kicks in, but the that little motor down in there helps add additional torque to the front of the engine when you have a wide open throttle scenario and it provides electrical energy. It's both a motor and a generator. So if you aren't familiar with how hybrids work, anytime there's a high demand, the hybrid motor will help when the gas engine is running. And this all applies only when this gas engine is running. And I'll explain that here in a second why. But um, anytime the engine is running and it can and demand is low, it turns into a generator and provides additional electrical energy back to the IDCM uh, in the back of the vehicle underneath the battery and uh and and will ch provide charge to the battery but in those times when it needs more power it turns into a motor it, electrical energy comes back up through that cable and and uh i'm sorry it becomes a when it becomes a motor it's providing power back towards the uh, idcm and when it's a generator it's receiving power in in the form of three phase ac and provides torque to the front of the engine to provide that additional horsepower. That's how we get that 375 horsepower, 470 whatever feet pound of torque and all that stuff. So um, this motor replaces the alternator. There is no alternator on this vehicle because uh, there is no uh, 12 volt, well, there is a 12 volt system, but there's no 12 volt charging. That all comes from the IDCM in the back. It has what's called a DC to DC converter, and it drops the uh, whatever 408 volts down to 12 volts to charge the, the battery and, and run the 12 volt system. So this guy serves as both starter, uh, motor generator, and alternator. It does all that kind of stuff. So it's a really cool device and it's really good to know where that little guy is. So there you go. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a part of this series under the hood.